Sacramento Bee reporter Ed Fletcher. We're talking about drought tolerant landscaping. With me is Michael Glassman. Uh, thank you for being here. Hi, my name is Michael Glassman. I'm a landscape designer and a contractor. I've been in business for over 37 years and we're known for creating drought tolerant, sustainable, low maintenance landscapes. So the way it is now, if you actually watered this, this would be a water sucking lawn and it would probably have to be watered in the middle of summer every day for at least 10, 15 minutes and then watching because of the slope, all the water running into the street. So my recommendation is, if we look at it as a whole package, you definitely need to water your trees. I mean, those are things that we don't want to get rid of. But my first reaction is when I come to your house is, you have no curb appeal. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's kind of ugly. And the big thing that is, is that a lot of people don't understand is, drought tolerant is drought tolerant. Yes, we understand that. This is drought tolerant. You don't water it, but also it looks kind of ugly. <laughs> so... And just buying plants that don't need a lot of water, throwing them in the ground and putting a bunch of bark and, and uh, rock around it isn't going to do the trick because what people don't understand is it takes six months to a year for a drought tolerant plant to develop roots that you can stop watering them. So the biggest mistake people make is they buy these drought tolerant plants, they put them in the ground, they water them two or three times and say, oh, it's drought tolerant, I don't have to water it. And then it shrivels up and dies. And what I try to tell people is, is that you have to look at the whole thing as an environment, not just, okay, lawn area, this area. So looking at this as an environment. So one of the things that you might want to think about doing, which also is drought tolerant, is a new way to get from the street to the front door, like a new front walkway. Going off your design in the back, you have these beautiful Arizona flagstone pavers random set into the ground as a walkway. Now, wouldn't that be cool? We get rid of this lawn and we put these big pieces of Arizona flagstone out here and around them we put decomposed granite, which is what you have in the back. It's creating this environment that's also low water use. What about a porch? What about the idea of extending a space? Because I got to tell you, you live on a really nice street and the homes are really well taken care of. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to put a table or a chair or even a, a little rocking chair and sitting out here? Drought tolerant wise, you're not watering a porch. You're not watering a walkway. The most you have to do is sweep it. Um, the elevation of the lawn is a lot higher. This is called, you know, because of the thickness, it's thatch. The biggest problem that you're going to run into, no matter what you do, if you don't change a little of the grades, is that, and you can see a little bit what your neighbor did, is that every time you water this, I don't care what you put this in, over a period of time, the water, because this is a higher elevation, this is lower, is going to run into the street. Mm -hmm. That's a waste. What I've been suggesting to people is once you take the lawn away, is to actually come back about 18 to 24 inches. Dig down, dig down about two feet. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is put landscape fabric down, which is a fabric that allows water to percolate through, but you don't get weeds. And then actually, if this is two feet deep, put in either drain rock or cobble rock. And what will happen is now, whatever you do up here, Mm -hmm. When the water starts, if you put too much water or when, if it does rain, we actually get rain, the water is going to go into the, the drain rock or the cobble rock. Mm -hmm. It'll act like a, like a French drain and it'll slowly percolate down into the ground. This summer, we're learning how to be water-wise homeowners. See our other videos for more tips on how to reduce water use.